Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. We are back in LA today for a couple of things actually. Lately when we've been coming down for trips, I try to get at least two, three things done out here. That way we're not coming here as often and even then <laughs> we're still down here pretty often. But first things first, yesterday I went shopping for my wedding dress to the second place. So if you guys watched my past video or my past two videos ago, I went wedding dress shopping, trying on dresses for the first time ever. And before saying yes to any dress, I wanted to go to the second spot. like. The these two places I really wanted to go to prior to me making any decision so yeah both places were so amazing such a good experience in trying on dresses uh, where I went yesterday I, I didn't record it or vlog it obviously so it's not going to be part of this video however I did say yes to the dress to one of the dresses <laughs> yes to the dress which I'm so happy about because I really wanted to like kind of lock something in already I think I had told you guys this already and I was debating if to say it or not say it but I just want to share with you guys so I did decide on two dresses. I have been reading so many comments from you guys, so many DMs from you guys, and a lot of you guys said do more than one dress. Well, I mean, obviously everybody had different opinions, but for the most part, what I saw, even like brides that I talked to, was two dresses is perfect because you kind of get to like not have to pick one only, but do not do more than two because it's just there's just no way it's gonna be like you're not gonna have chance a chance to even switch for the third time. So I am 100% certain <laughs> I wanted to I want to do two dresses especially because there's two styles that are completely different that I love so much and in my head I'm just like this one has to be for this and this one has to be for that so yeah I'm so so happy because I said yes to the dress to one of the dresses yesterday and uh, it just makes me so happy because like one of them is exactly like the one that I said yes to yesterday is exactly like the vibe and like what I was going for however for this place that I went to yesterday it's a little bit different than where I went the first time so for this second Second dress that I said yes to yesterday. It's a little bit different. If you guys remember the first place that I went to, they do fully custom one of one dresses there in house. And the second place where I went to yesterday, it is um, they order it from like a designer, so it's not made in house. It's ordered from out of place, um, and then they do alterations to that dress. So I got this dress, and then when I receive it, then we'll just do like minor tweaks as far as like sizing and stuff. But the one that I tried on yesterday was actually pretty on point with my size, so I kind of got to see like what it would look like. Like basically fitting me nearly perfect just with like minor little tweaks and I absolutely loved it like I was like this is the one like this one has to be it uh, thankfully Crystal and my mom were also able to come with me and I mean Chris is my best friend so I literally ask her everything like dude should I do a white hat should I do a red hat <laughs> a black hat a blue hat so just having her there was so helpful because I was able to be like this is it huh and she was like girl you need that dress like that one is it so yeah that is the update as far as the whole dresses and then for for the other dress, I already think I know what I'm going to do. I'll keep you guys updated on that, but I'm just happy <laughs> that the ball's rolling. We're getting the ball rolling. Things are going pretty smooth so far as far as like as far as like the wedding planning. Uh, our venue our venue has been booked already, so I feel like dresses and venue were like the top two things that I had to get situated. And now on my list, second thing is I really want to get our wedding list official because I haven't. I mean, I've been thinking of who we're gonna invite, but I haven't made it like official. So I really want to sit down with without like one or two nights because I feel like this is gonna take some time I don't know <laughs> to kind of just put everybody down on a list that way I can have like a more precise head count and then yeah all the other little stuff which like I've been saying you guys will be coming along because <gasps> <laughs> I'm just doing a lot of wedding talk, but we also have our engagement shoot Which is the shoot the pictures that we're gonna use for our save the date and Then once we get that shoot I also want to I want to announce the date to my family and friends and of course also to you guys and stuff So yeah, I cannot wait that is that and then right now I'm I actually need to stop blabbling girl because <laughs> I need to head down uh, today is an onset shoot Bring you guys along for that one this shoot this upcoming collection is so cute We're actually shooting this collection a little bit ahead of time just because how timelines work so this collection that you guys you're gonna see a little sneak peek on does not drop until March but we're just ahead of time a little bit my nails match the collection big hint right there <laughs> and if you guys are watching I don't, I'm not gonna post about it we're not posting about it on the brand side or anything till like two three more weeks so this is like an exclusive girls <laughs> for my uh, for my YouTube I'll bring you guys along a little bit of the shoot and what what a next drop is what is coming and then after that here's the real tea girl we're going apartment hunting I love Audible, that's no secret. You guys have heard me talk about Audible a lot before, and I'm excited to say that they are sponsoring this video. Audible offers a huge variety of content from audiobooks, podcasts, bestsellers, new releases, exclusive originals, so many options that get you closer to the voices that can change your life. 
We are reclaiming wellness this year and taking care of ourselves is not always picture perfect, but in our busy lives, it is important that we take care of ourselves. I'm currently listening to The Power of Self-Discipline, such a good audiobook, and I like to listen to this while I have time for myself, while I'm getting ready in the mornings, making my breakfast. It makes my time go by smooth. It also distracts me from my own thoughts and puts positivity to get my day started. So Audible has been my best friend when I have time for myself, like I said, getting ready in the morning, making breakfast, and just feeding my mind positivity in any category from our well-being space from physical, mental, social, motivational, financial, Audible has a listening just for you. The Audible app is my absolute favorite because it makes it easy to listen anytime, anywhere. In the gym, in the airport, doing your bed, go to the Audible app. You guys get a free Audible trial by going to audible.com slash less to makeup. So head over to audible.com slash less to makeup to get your free trial. Thank you Audible once again for sponsoring this video. We made it on set ladies. We have Jesus on glam like always. Fun fact, Jesus is also doing my wedding glam, which we have to, oh, <laughs> him finding out right now. I'm like, oh yeah, I haven't booked him yet, but, but yeah, we're on set doing my glam. I normally shoot not really like the, the website pictures. I do more of like the social fun pictures, but we have to show them a little sneakity pickety of this drop because it's so cute guys. And y'all have to guess the name down below, <laughs> which we will tell you guys about it obviously. Uh, coming soon to onset but yeah the girlies are changing and then cameras up and yeah we just have all the vibes here thank god i brought my microphone if not i can't talk to you guys because we play music to like get the models warmed up and stuff but yeah this is how do i look is my angle good here and my mom also joined for the shoot she's she's in the bag say just hi. say hi mom to the vlog a la camera diga lola <laughs> but yeah, I have my rebel, sugar free rebel. Guys, after the gym, I gymmed early in the morning with Alex, trying to like be that 6 a.m. girly. Absolutely not, I started crashing. So we have the rebel. Let me know the vibes if you know what I mean. <laughs> Some lotion, I be never <laughs> wearing lotion. <laughs> Okay, my past shoes have been with my hair down, so today I wanted to like spice things up a little bit, <laughs> so we did the bun. Let me know, let me know, let me know. First apartment view. It's raining though guys, so we can do like too much viewing. Oh cute. This is just like a like a conference, not conference area, like a oh you can rent it out. Cute. Oh look, you can see the pool from here. And it's gated. Love that. Oh, it's kind of like a like a hotel almost. But they're not furnished, right? No. Oh, I see what you mean. Like the the living room is more open and stuff. One room on this side. Ta -da. Very nice. It's because they the dos cuartos. I mean, you could have like a double bed in here. Closet. Oh, the restroom's nice too. Very nice, very homey without furniture. It's because I was doing like the 3D tour walkthrough. So I'm like, I feel like I've been here, but it's because I was I saw it like online, the, the tour. And then this, the restroom connects, I think. Oh, it's because this restroom is shared with the bedroom and then it's shared with like your guest. Your guest, yeah. How much very homey. This yeah, how much is this one? This one's really pretty. And it has like an actual kitchen kitchen yeah. in here. Like with the with the island. <laughs> Chefing it up. The next day. We are back home, ladies, before we get into some life updates. Mom, I want to play. Play. Let's say hello to the kiddos. Uh, shout out Alani Nu. They sent us this right here. Yes. Play with the ball. Okay, let's play. Where do we? Where's the balls? Mm, where's the balls? Y tú? Y tú qué estás haciendo, mamá? It's bedtime. It's bedtime. Where's the balls? I'm not too sure where the balls are at. Chaos in our house. <laughs> 24/7. 
<laughs> Alex has made me coffee. This looks like a fire coffee, but he's been trying out different like beans for coffee. I don't know much about it, girls, but <laughs> these are not my absolute favorite before he ordered the ones that I absolutely love. They're on the way. So for now, he's been using these beans, which taste good. Those things are gonna drive me nuts. <laughs> Taste test on today's coffee. Mmm. Okay. Very well, very well. I don't like a lot of espresso, so he's been perfecting, mastering my recipe. That way, when I ask for coffee, uh, I have my barista at home for him to make me some coffee. We're installing some like LED lights around our countertop, so right now our kitchen is a little bit chaotic. Basically, everything from the counters was taken out because wait, they're installed already, babe. But yeah, that's why our kitchen is a little bit of a mess right now. And normally, Alex has set up. Oh my god. <laughs> Quiet on set. The boss. <laughs> I, I'm not sure where the balls are at. Daddy will help you find them. Give him one minute, okay? This is normally where Alex has set up like his coffee station stuff right here, but because we're moving things around, he has moved his coffee station for probably the next day or two. Right in this corner, he has been um, just making our coffees at home, which has been so much better because we don't leave the house for coffee or we just don't spend money on coffee. We just do it. Alex does it here at home and stuff. And update on the playroom, girlies. It has been a success. Success. Definitely a great idea because the kids have spent a lot of their time here and at nighttime This is normally where they get rid of their energy <laughs> before bedtime. Uh, they both just take a bath But yeah, we are getting ready for our bedtime for the kids to go to sleep And then once the kids go to sleep, we're gonna make dinner me and Alex and then update you guys on the whole apartment hunting I also really regret <laughs> really really regret not vlogging like even just little snippets of when I said yes to the dress As you guys saw on Instagram and here as I mentioned it. So yeah I'm having a lot of regret <laughs> of not recording that but honestly I was kind of just going to like try on dresses and like check out the place I was not really expecting to say yes to one of the dresses so uh, please beat me up <laughs> for not recording that Okay, mama girl went to sleep guys and Gael insisted on having a microphone as well I look a little crazy right now because I went to go get my lips touched up guys I have not gotten my lips done in three going on four years now which is so crazy Hello. hence they look a little puffy a little question mark <laughs> a little question mark right now Hence why they look a little swollen right now because I got them done earlier. So today and tomorrow they're gonna look swollen. I actually only did. I actually only did half a syringe, which if you're familiar, it's almost nothing. And I feel like once there the swollenness goes away, you guys probably won't even tell or would have been able to tell. With half a syringe, it's almost like not noticeable at all. Hello. I just wanted like the littlest, tiniest plum. So you guys will see. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys will get to see what they heal and look like. So yeah. Actually, I feel like even though they're swollen, they don't really look crazy. But if they do, that is why. Ew, you farted. <laughs> And she kind of wiped off my makeup right here So I have like makeup here and no makeup here If you guys notice I look crazy And I had told you guys on Instagram and I had DMs like No, why did you do that? You're ruining your face And I'm like, girl, calm down, settle down The numbness kind of burly wore off Because I do the dental block, highly recommend If you guys are planning on getting your lips done Please ask your doctor or nurse if they have dental block If they say no, good luck, girl First time I ever got my lips done like five years ago They didn't do the dental, dental block And oh my god, pain level was like Pain level was like a solid 9.5 nearly a 10 and they do the dental block which is again the best thing ever because you pain level is probably like a two three like you don't really feel anything and it probably won't do them again to like another three years and i also uh fully lasered today so i do my legs i've been doing my legs for like two years now which is the best thing ever because i don't really grow hair in my legs anymore especially around the summertime and then i also did my underarms my armpits which is also the best thing ever because i shave maybe once a month now and then i also laser bikini i started doing that after i had kaeli so probably like like around a year now and has also been the best thing ever i don't think i've ever met somebody that doesn't like the procedure or doesn't recommend it but yeah that's the update on <laughs> what you guys are seeing right now anyways enough of the laser talk let's get into the apartment talk so we are not moving to la obviously i think i've mentioned this a lot of times that we have no plans i mean i don't know 10 20 years from now i don't know the future but we have absolutely no plans to move to la however we are in an apartment or like a condo 
hunt because hear me out girls we are out in la once twice sometimes even three times out of the month either for like friends and family or for events okay we don't have family out there but like friends events a lot for work like this past time we were there for two days and we got like the onset photo shoot done dress shopping done and then apartment hunting and then we're actually going very soon again for laura's gender reveal and then soon again for an event coming up so we are just out there a lot and actually friends and family tell us like why don't you guys just get a spot out there that way you guys have somewhere to stay while you guys are out there and i was looking at like what we're spending every time that we're going versus how much we would pay to like get a spot out there and honestly it's kind of almost the same so also traveling with kids i'm like telling alex like we talked about it for a while and i'm like honestly it would be such a good move because we wouldn't have to pack like all of the kids essentials all of our essentials like that alone takes a whole entire day for us to pack like our toiletries the kids toiletries their outfits just finding a spot and all of that i feel like we would save so much time maybe not necessarily save money but it would just be so so much more convenient for us and we would just also be able to stay out there longer or if friends and family want to go out there for events like our place is there for them to stay at so yeah i talked this through with my manager and financial advisor and it would definitely be a good move for us however just finding the right spot the places that we went to go look at this time we were there two of them it was just not for us and one of them the prices are in la girl oh my god i need to use the restroom hold y'all still here right y'all still here right anyways yeah we're not in a rush whatsoever whether we find a place in a month in a year or just don't find one at all but it's something that we're like dang we should definitely do that we should have been <laughs> done did that because of how convenient it would be like me and Alex were talking and we would just have to basically pack, pack a diaper bag because all of their stuff their toiletries their shampoos their pajamas their diapers everything would just be out there and we would just have to pack like the basics and a lot of you guys actually would always message me and Alex like why don't you guys get like a place out here just to make the trips smoother with the family um because of how often we're out there and with on site fun fact most of our shoots are out in la so it would also just be great for that but if we would ever move to la or live in la absolutely not i would absolutely not move to live in la or california no offense to my californians i am just an el paso texas girly but i do enjoy going out there like once a month and just kind of like getting things done having that fast-paced life for a couple of days and then coming back to our home the beauty of this which is like the main reason why i was like you know what let's do it is because obviously it's just a lease so we can do like a year and if it was like a dumb decision something that we shouldn't have done then we can just cancel the lease and nothing ever happened or maybe we're like okay this was the best thing ever it makes our life so much easier and it's a great move for us actually some places even had like three to six month leases like i didn't even know that was a theme but it's actually more common -er than i thought but yeah i'll keep you guys updated on that and with that i'm gonna close out this video right here i hope you guys enjoyed watching thank you guys for watching love you guys and i'll see you on my next one bye